Hi, my name is Max, and uh, we'll be going over this ODE stability uh, problem. So to begin, uh, we need to find equilibrium points. So equilibrium points was wherever y prime or x prime is equal to zero. So we already were given the equation in this form, so put in zero here. From this point, uh, I simplified it down a bit, but these are the uh, two equations that we are going to be solving for. And we need to find for every point that um, when we input X and Y, we will get zero for X prime and Y prime. Uh, there's always the trivial solution. Uh, that's not too special, um, but the two points after that are when x is 20, y is 0, x is 5, y is 3 over 2. Uh, this is done by uh, just uh, the first one, like through inspection and through um, setting a variable to your desired uh, value that you see it will reach 0 to and then solving it down through there. Um, fairly easy. This uh, Following this, though, we're going to need to use the Jacobian uh, by definition uh, when, for a two by two. Uh, if we have three, uh, if we had a Z prime, this would be a three by three matrix. It's always N by N. But we need to find the partial derivative uh, in terms of X and Y for both X prime and Y prime. So these was the work here for solving for the partial derivatives. Once we reach this point here, we have actually constructed the Jacobian, which is nice because we're, this is where we're going to be able to plug in all of our equilibrium points, which I have labeled P1, P2, P3 here. We plug in respectively uh, the X and Y, and we, from there, it will reduce down to a two by two. And from the two by two, you simply find the eigenvalues, which will describe behavior. So <clears throat> the example I used was the third point of uh, five and 1.5. When plugged them in, my matrix reduced down to this, uh, row reduced echelon form, this matrix minus the identity, with the lambda in front, forgot that. To make a long story short, I found out that the eigenvalues were complex. Um, there's an, often in textbooks, there's an entire stability summary given your, your eigenvalues. Uh, this is what the notation, uh, stability, and the oscillatory behavior are. But since uh, it was, we had complex eigenvalues, uh, our system is oscillating. And um, <clears throat> specifically, it's a focus. That, uh, that is the name of it. If you repeat this process for unplugging P1 and P2, you will uh, reach the point where you have these two eigenvalues. And depending on what they are, uh, let me put these down here. So if you have a uh, real and positive eigenvalues, your stability is unstable. It does not oscillate and it would be called an unstable node when your eigenvalues are real and negative, your stability is stable, you have no oscillatory behavior, and your notation is, uh, it's called a stable node. When you have mixed between um, real and um, real and uh, positive, negative and positive eigenvalues, uh, it's unstable, sadly, should be it.